All right, guys, welcome back. So today we have another video. We're back on MR2s. Now, last video you saw Uncle Kevin's car. We got that done, and in full transparency, I should have done a reveal video, but we had some technical challenges, and we're not able to get that video put together. But he did get the car back. We'll probably see him later today, so you'll get a quick update. But today we got another Kevin, and we have another MR2, so we got some more exciting stuff for you. So let's jump right into it. Let me show you what's going on. Well, guys, so here we have it. We got Kevin. This is my buddy Kevin. You probably heard me talk about the welder. He is what I call the triple OG. We've been friends for many, many years. So Kevin, welcome to the channel. Your first time joining us on the channel. Yeah, you know, about time. You know yeah. I've been missing out. <laughs> yeah, so Kevin, we always wanted to get Kevin. He has a couple of Lexus uh, cars and he's a Toyota guy as well. But he's really not into MR2 until he had some friends get him into MR2. So what do we have behind, behind us here, Kevin? This is MR2. We have Julia and Ali. Uh, they're little project cars <laughs> all right so these ladies kevin called me up a couple months ago because these ladies wanted to get a project car and they saw this red 87 mr2 for sale but they knew nothing about cars and kevin called me up and we said all right well let's see if we can help them out so this is what we got so we're going to go ahead and show you guys what these ladies went ahead and purchased and why they're interested in getting an mr2 all right so here are the ladies that own this beautiful to be red mr2 so it's not bad the panels are all there actually let's just do a quick walk around i'll show you right now so here we have it not much rust anywhere that i can see uh this was from an older gentleman and um they acquired it they got lucky they acquired it this i believe it's a florida car based on how it looks but if you're into aw11s then this might be a video for you personally i'm into sw20s so that's my thing but you know all these cars get, end up growing up on you uh so here we have it what engine is this again 40 4AG. 4AG. um so this thing cranks over but it doesn't start so one of the things we're going to try to do today is to get it started there's a bunch of pieces so we'll kind of show you guys hopefully we get it started if we don't get it started we definitely want to get some advice from the audience here that's watching what could possibly be wrong with this thing but as we get deeper into the video we will see what's going on but look at this this is cool the intake is in the trunk you know already see those i've never actually seen a car like that and um i think these are the kooky lights so pretty cool pieces very hard to find so where did this car come about why is it here let's ask these two ladies so welcome to the channel Julia and Ali. Thank you. So what made you guys want to get this MR2? Um, you want to go first? It's up to you. Okay, so uh, basically for me, it was started off with a Miata. Okay. 1993 Miata. I liked it a lot. I still have it. And I was like, it was a little project, but it was nothing that I was like looking, you know, I wanted something bigger. Uh-huh. So fixed up the Miata and then started looking. I was like, I want another project car. So then I ended up on the AW11 MR2. I already thought they were awesome, like being mid-engine. I was like, that's, that's a, something different, something cool. So, found this, and then what? I wanted to bring Ali along with me. <laughs> and Ali, so why did you go along for the ride? So, I always wanted to work on cars. Um, always wanted a project car, and I was always telling Julia, I was like, hey, like we should get like a project car and work on it together. Because like we both like are doing Enjoy. nothing right now, and we're like, and it's like our passion, so. All right, cool. So, I know I'm here because, one, you guys need some help, and I know Kevin, Kevin, why are you here? <laughs> I'm, I'm supervising. You so, know, they, she always wanted to um, learn about mechanics and always talking about project cars and stuff like that. So I guess they suckered me into this. They pulled me in. Yeah, no but option. we, we kind of kind of got stuck. So I had to call in, you know, Mr. Brightonance, you know, come and <laughs> try and help, help us out. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. So, so I'm going to learn some stuff because, again, I'm very familiar with SW20s, but AW11s is new to me. But um, it's an MR2, so I'm excited to get into it. So with that said, ladies, we're going to jump right into this car. Now for today, we're going to start off with interior because as you guys know, I don't like to work on anything that's dirty. So here's the interior. <laughs> it's kind of all here, but it's, it's a little bit rough. I'm not going to lie. So there you go. And again, these pieces, we can't really find them. They're very hard to find. So we're going to just have to restore it and bring it back. That's the tint that's just literally fell off the glass. So we'll peel that off. And then we're gonna have a really chore here just getting this carpet done. So look at that carpet. Like really, really messed up. I think the car is leaking as well from the T-tops. 
but we're gonna see what we can do so we're gonna get this clean today as best as we can probably will be the first run of maybe one or two and then the seats are out so this is what the seat looks like this is the driver's seat and we started to kind of get to it so there you have it and we they actually started cleaning the passenger side which came out pretty decent so there you go i wish we had gotten a picture before because it was really really bad but these ladies are ready to learn and i'm ready to teach and kevin is ready to teach so let's jump right into getting work done What are you doing back here, Ellie? Taking out the bolts for the center console to come out so we can take the rest of the carpet. Anything cut? Okay. Uh, disconnect. Oh, there's one more screw. No wait. There's. I know. And then we already took out that, so the sensor. So now we have to take out the rest of the car. You got two. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and who bought it? I did. <laughs> All right, guys, so I got it. This is like real interesting because this is the reason why I don't see Kevin in my garage because I'm scared when he comes over. So here's Kevin's way of fixing everything. Go for it, Kevin. <laughs> yep. Kevin, if it don't work, just give it a big hit with a hammer. <laughs> and two things going to happen. You will either get fixed or it just remains broken. So this is a screw. I think that's. I don't even know what that's for. Oh, that's for the T-top glass. So we're trying to get the carpet out. And this screw is giving us a hard time. So we're trying to get that out. I don't know why they didn't just put a uh, proper nut in there. All right, Kevin, what you got? Yeah. Did the hammer, hammer? hammer works all the time. Hammer works out. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't break it? Nope. Yeah, see, I'm always worried to break stuff. So I guess I have fear and Kevin has no fear. <laughs> hey, hey, you got to take chances, boy. All right, cool. Why well, not? Hammer, well. hammer, hammer fixes everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Progress updates. Where are we? What do we got going on? So we got the carpet out. Well, all the bolts out. No, all the carpet. bolts out. All right. So let's see if we can get it out. Cause this thing got to get cleaned. Is it separate? No, it should come right out. Oh, it's separate from this side. Yeah, the left side and the right side are oh, different. Okay. Yeah, let's lift it up. Up okay. and over. Yep. How does it smell? Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> you still have the harness for the seatbelt. Oh, oh my god, this smells so bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just gotta get the harness for the seatbelt out and then basically it's out. So time to get this carpet cleaned. So what are you gonna do first? Vacuum it. All right, let's go.
So we haven't been able to start the AW11, but we pulled out, we went under the dash, and we kind of looked at the wiring because for whatever reason, we're not getting spark. We're getting everything else except spark. So we need fuel, air, and spark for this thing to fire. And when we pulled this, I mean, the brain of the alarm system was missing. And then we had this wire that goes to basically the ignition and that was cut. So somehow this main wire, which I'm not sure what it does, was, was feeding, sorry, alarm was going off. It was feeding um, into the alarm system wiring, which doesn't have a brain, which means the circuit is not closing. So we're hoping that if we reconnect this here, this thing will fire up. We would do it right now, but the battery is dead. So we're going to charge the battery and then we'll jump right back for you guys. It will just happen right now. So let's see what happens. All right, so we're going to fire this thing. We had the wire connected here, the one that was cut for the alarm. So fingers crossed, let's hope it works. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Carb cleaner. Where, where's the, yeah, where is it? I heard it fire. <laughs> you heard it chirp, right? You never heard yeah, that before? Yeah. You should probably check it at that spot. Alright, so this is a help for all help request for all you AW MR2 fans if you watch this channel. So we couldn't get the car to start. We have a new plugs, new plug wires, new distributor cap, new rotor. We got a new igniter and we have a new coil and it still won't get any spark. So I kind of came under here hoping it's some electrical issue. And um, I don't know if I'm on the right track or not, but basically when I got under the vehicle, under this, the steering wheel here, um, I found this junction box. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside. So as you can see, right here this one right here looks pretty burnt and this one right down here is also burnt and i could tell from the wiring that somebody came in here and bypassed this one right here because they spliced the wire this wire here to kind of get i'm assuming power to it but this particular one over here it's burnt and I don't see any fix to it. So I don't know if potentially that could be what's not, what's preventing um, the car from getting power for the ignition. So if you guys know, give us an idea. Um, we did change that control fuse in the trunk as well and um, not firing up. We found this wire here broken, so we're able to get that sorted out. We'll get that fixed. But outside of that guys, we're kind of dead in the water. No ignition, can't get any spark. So I'm gonna show you what we did with the carpet and show you what we did with the seats. And that's kind of like what we were able to achieve today, but we wanna get this car started. So any pointers you have, we'd really appreciate it. Well, Kevin, where are we at? I don't know, we, we changed everything. We did what we can, still not getting no spark. I don't know where we go from there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Only, the only thing left is uh, maybe the distributor. It could be do cap rotors, wires, plugs. E ECU. ECU igniter coil i don't know I'm stuck yeah so we're stuck guys so if anybody knows anything about the aw11s you know give us a holler like we've been begging mm -hmm. <laughs> during this video but the um the change of power pack on the igniter that's a known working one right there the wires and the plugs are new the distributor we tested the voltage going to the two legs of the coil and we got seven volts with the key on the ignition. I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be, but that's what we got. And um, it didn't really change when we cranked the ignition. And um, in the trunk, we had changed, what did we change in the trunk here? We changed um, the coil, the relay. We changed the relay. Okay, uh, it's all. I think it's on this side, no? Yeah, it was this. Yeah, yeah we changed that one right there. So we put a brand new one in. This. Yeah, so we changed that one and it's, nothing yeah. so we're and gonna close ourselves out today so kevin you want to close this out <laughs> that's it <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so yeah so um yeah hey it is what it is this is kind of like where we got to close the video but hey it's another mr2 it's another week of entertainment 
So we'll catch you guys on the next one. We'll keep working at it. We'll figure this out eventually. But for now, we just kind of got the interior done. So here are the seats. Came out much better than they were before. Obviously it's a older car, so it's not new. Um, and we got the carpet uh, shampooed as well. So that came out okay, and you know, it was really, really bad. But um, yeah, let's open that up. So it's actually black again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the two girls got tired and ran away from us. <laughs> so we kind of, kind of worked into the evening here. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for this week. I'll catch you guys on the next one.